Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and continue on with our learning of Linux and in this video I'm going to show you how to take the results of a command and save them to a file. So I'm in the desktop right now and we know the command ls just lists all the stuff on the desktop. So here are the contents. However, what if we want to take this and save it to a file? And it's not only ls, you can do it with, you know, pwd, whatever these commands return sometimes you want to take the results and stick them inside a file so we can reuse them later well got a couple options we can just you know go ahead and copy this make a file paste it in there and save it but that's kind of the hard way so instead I'll show you guys a cool shortcut so I'm gonna type ls and we already know that this command it returns all this stuff right here and if I want to save it to a file just use the greater than operator and name your file whatever you want. I'm going to name it bacon. So now you see it creates a file called bacon with the results of whatever command we typed in. Pretty sweet. Now something I want to point out is this. If you ever run this command again on the same file, for example, uh, pwd bacon, and you run this, any content that was already in that file is going to be overridden. So if you thought that it was just going to take the results of this command now and tack it on to the end of it, you're wrong. It takes it and overrides all the stuff that's already in there. So I'll show you guys if you actually want to append to the file then what you can do. So let's just go ahead and get the results of ls back. So we got all that and now we want to run pwd or any command and tack it on to the end of this file. So what I do is run the pwd command just like before but instead of just a single greater than you use two greater than symbols this means don't override it just get the results of pwd and stick it onto the end of bacon so hit enter and check it out so these were the results of ls which means list the stuff in my directory and this was the result of pwd and we didn't destroy any of our data. Pretty sweet, eh?